Next question. What is the question telling us? Come, let's read it together. It's basically a small child presents with small hyperpigmented scaly macules on the cheek. Friends also have similar vision. What is the diagnosis? So basically the text is just telling us that it's a child who has these scaly hypopigmented lesions on the cheeks. What is the diagnosis? If it is a hypopigmented macule on the face or maybe the body. What could be the possible differentials? One possible differential is P alba. Second possible differential is P versicolor or maybe here I should take it as indeterminate leprosy. Third would be P versicolor. Fourth will be P rosea. This would be the main differentials in case of a hypopigmented macule. Now let us go through them. P alba main, mainly seen on face in a child. It will be hypopigmented plus fine scaling. There will be no signs and symptoms and it will be episodic there might be history of ATOP in the patient. In indeterminate leprosy, this will also be a face. It will be a child. And these will be multiple lesions. This will generally be a solitary lesion. This will be hypopigmented scaling may or may not be there. Sensation will be normal and this will generally be a resident of Behar or any other endemic area and it might self resolve. Okay. P versicolor will be predominantly on the upper body which includes chest plus back. Face may sometimes be involved. Then these lesions will again be hypopigmented. These will be scaly. But they will have more of polycyclic margins. There will be multiple lesions. And these will also be episodic, increase in summers. This will increase in winters. Okay. And here you will have typical KOH appearance and woods lamp appearance. Okay. P. rosea will have history of a herald patch. And these will actually be erythematous, not hyperpigmented. These will be erythematous, annular plaques with colorate scaling with your Christmas tree appearance, right? So this is what you have to know when a lesion which is hypopigmented on the face or the upper body comes to you in the exam. P. alba will almost always be on the face of a child. There will be a fine scaling, multiple lesions, episodic is there. There's a history of allergic tendency. They will keep coming and going and it is just a form of endogenous eczema. Doesn't require any 
treatment. Okay? This will be mainly a solitary lesion, hypopigmented, despite being leprosy, sensation will be normal in this patient, it will be an endemic uh, area uh, in the history as a resident of Bihar or Jharkhand or Chhattisgarh and 75% of indeterminate leprosy resolves on their own, okay. P versicolor, upper body, chest and back, polycyclic, Increase in summers, spaghetti and meatball appearance on KOH, a pale blue or a pale green appearance on the woods lamp. Okay, clear? How do you treat? You treat it with topical and oral antifungals. P. rosea is a rare patch, colorative scaling, you know it very well. Right? So, this is about these kind of lesions. I hope I have made it clear for you. Please go through this page. It is very important. One of these four is always there in the exam. So, we come back to the question. What do we see here? We see that it is a child. Lesions are there on the face. They are multiple. They are hypopigmented and scaly. There is something in this question which is trying to confuse you. It is trying to tell you that other friends have it, so it might be an infection. But no, it is not an infection. It is normal for a lot of children to have it. The diagnosis here is P. alba. The rest of the other three options we have already discussed. Clear to everyone? Yes? Good. Any doubts? I hope not.